Git branch protection can be implemented using server-side hooks, specifically update hook. You can go create one by going to remote repository's hook directory. If the hook exits with non-zero exit code, the push will be rejected. For example, this hook will reject any push made on any branch. You can also utilize push metadata provided by script arguments. For example, this script will reject all push to master branch. You can also prevent large commit to be pushed. In this example, we iterate over all commits that are being pushed and iterate over all changed files and reject the push if any of those files has more than 200 lines inserted. We can also use environment variables. For example, this script will allow push to master branch only if the username environment variable is next hero. To use a username of the user who is actually pushing, you need to do an authentication on your HTTP server, specifically HTTP basic authentication. To implement this, first we need to extract authentication type and credential from authentication header. If the header doesn't exist or invalid, we will request the client to include it in the next request. After we got the correct header, we parse the username and password and validate it. Lastly, we pass the username as environment variable to git or git http backend command. Now you can clone the repository with username and password, make a change, and push it to master branch. The server will allow a push from Nix hero, but it will reject a push from another users. Now you don't have to waste four dollars per user per month to prevent junior devs from pushing programming war crimes to master branch. Instead, you can waste your time by watching my videos. Hit the like button for more content. Thank you for watching and see you.